<laughs> Would, Would you, you like, like to take the Pepsi challenge? <laughs> okay, let's take the Pepsi In our experiment, we did not want to have biased results, so we took, chose cups that were just plain white with no designs or anything because we didn't want people favoring the, the pop just for the design on the cup because they didn't know which to pick. So we marked them with a small dot on the bottom. <laughs> So we didn't want these cups because they have pictures on them and they probably have different pictures so they'd be biased. Okay. That's now you flipped a coin before each test subject to randomly assign which drink would be tasted first. This was a double blind experiment because I did not know which one was chosen. Before each taste, we have the subjects take a bite of cracker to cleanse the palate. And Heather, in our stats book we found a bad example of the Pepsi challenge. Pepsi once wanted to demonstrate that Coke drinkers, in fact, prefer Pepsi, and they taste both colors blind. The subjects, all people who said they were Coke drinkers, tasted both colas from glasses without brand markings and said which they liked better. This is a matched pairs design in which each subject compares the two colas. Because responses may depend on which cola is tasted first, the order of tasting should be chosen at random for each subject. When more than half the Coke drinkers chose Pepsi, Coke claimed that the experiment was biased. The Pepsi glasses were marked M, and Coke glasses were marked Q. Aha, said Coke. This just shows that people like the letter M better than the letter Q. A careful experiment would in fact take care to avoid any distinction other than the actual treatments. Pepsi claims that more people prefer Pepsi over Coke. We think that there is no significant difference between the amount of people that prefer Coke and the amount of people who prefer Pepsi. Our sample consists of 100 people, of which 55 prefer Pepsi and 45 prefer Coke. We conducted a z-test and the p-value was 0.15855, which is not significant enough to say people prefer Pepsi over Coke. Therefore, we fail to reject our null hypothesis and conclude there's no difference between the amount of people that prefer Pepsi and the amount of people that prefer Coke. Okay, so since Pepsi doesn't have any numbered statistics out on this study, they probably just had a little majority of it. <laughs> Joy of cola, <laughs> the joy of Pepsi.